The best part of waking up. Coffee talk with Uncle Lou. Good morning. Where's my coffee? Uh, good morning. Uh, Uncle Lou here. Uh, yep, it's me, Uncle Lou. Uh, live on YouTube for you. Yep. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, another mind-bending, head-scratching, hair-raising edition here of Coffee Talk uh, with Uncle Lou. Uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, if you're new around here, uh, which a few of you are, this is a series of videos that I do uh, where I drink coffee and talk to you. So, uh, yesterday I put a post out in a few places, and I think on Twitter, Facebook, and maybe on YouTube, and a couple other places of uh, any particular topics you guys wanted to hear me uh, ramble on about, or uh, babble incoherently about. Quite a few of you responded. I'll try to get to some of those in this video here. Uh, the question I probably received the most was uh, what are my expectations for next year uh, for for Georgia and you know it's it's really it, it it's too early and there's too many unknowns right now I think to to really get into any specifics there I mean obviously we know the head coach uh, and and we know the returning players and we know the schedule um, but there's some really big question marks that need to be filled before you know, I, I I would feel comfortable giving any sort of specific prediction or game by game breakdown or anything like that for next year. Uh, the 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 three biggest things, obviously, that, that Uncle Lou needs answered is the Jacob Eason situation, uh, and and then offensive and defensive coordinators. So we need to get those three things figured out. We, we should know the answer to all three of those things very soon. Uh, especially the coordinator questions, those should be answered relatively soon. Uh, Jacob Eason was scheduled to enroll. He's an early enrollee wherever he goes. Uh, so by January 5th, we'll know where he's going to be playing. Wherever he's going to school at in January, that's where he's going to be playing. I hope it's Georgia. Uh, I'm, I'm still confident that it will be. Uh, I'm obviously not as confident about that as I was a month ago. Uh, but I would say somewhere in the 75% range uh, that I'm confident he's going to end up at UGA. But I will say this about next year, and I've been saying this for two weeks. Uh, there's a certain segment of the population that, that doesn't like to hear this, but it, this is just my opinion. I, I think U, UGA could have won nine games. Like We were 9-3 and three this, this year. I think UJ could have won nine games this year, no matter who the coach was. I, I think that was the floor uh, in terms of wins for this year, was nine. Um, we Talent alone uh, is, good, is good for nine wins this past year. Uh, in fact, I said that before the season. I, I, there was three games I bet that worried me, uh, but I was confident we would win a minimum of nine games. And to be honest, I don't, I don't see that changing really going into next year. I would, I would expect the floor for wins next year to be nine, um, regardless of Jacob Eason or the coordinators. Um, I, I, would, I would expect that to be the, the floor. There's you know, a handful of games on the schedule that you can pretty much mark down as Ws. Um, right now i'm not going to list them you know who they are uh and then you know we'll have three or four sort of toss-up games going into the season um that that'll determine you know how well we do or don't do um so that's my thoughts on that uh, as far as the south carolina thing goes somebody wanted to know what i thought about south carolina fans reaction to will muschamp i mean in all honesty, what what do you expect them to say? They're going to say they're happy. Um, you know, they're going to act excited. I don't blame them. You know, you're a, you're a fan. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't expect them to act any other way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's a few that are disappointed mm-hmm. that don't like Will Muschamp because of his attitude uh, or, or because he's just a terrible coach. Uh, but for the most part, from what I've seen from Carolina fans, they're at least putting putting on a happy face and trying to act as excited as they can about it. Um, I still think it's hilarious that they ended up with Will Muschamp, not necessarily because it's Will Muschamp, but just because of the sheer number of people that basically gave Carolina the bird. I mean, it it, it really seemed like they were, especially the last week and a half or so, it just really seemed like Carolina was willing to interview anybody that was willing to show up in Columbia and knock on the AD's door. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to go through the whole list of names here, but I mean, they, you know, they were told no by, you know, over and over and over and over again. So it, it sort of reminds me of the Tennessee and Derek Dooley situation in, in that respect. You know, Tennessee was at a point where really no one wanted to coach there. Um, people weren't beating down Derek Dooley's door for head coaching opportunities. So, you know, the, the two ended up together. And that's sort of what this situation reminds me of here. Uh, coaches weren't beating down the door to coach at South Carolina for obvious reasons. Uh, and I, I can't imagine there being any other school that was willing to give Will Muschamp a, a head coaching shot after you know one year removed from the Florida disaster. But as far as their fans go, uh, you know, they're typical fans. We forget this sometimes. Fans are short for fanatic. So, you know, you, there's some of them that think they're going 15-0 and 0 next year. You know, that's just how it goes with, with fans. Uh, on to the Heisman list. I mean, there's no real surprises there to me. Of course, Derrick Henry is going to end up on there. Um, the kid from Stanford is on there, and Deshaun Watson is on there. Uh, as far as who I want to win or who I think will win, uh... I I think it'll be Derrick Henry or uh, Deshaun Watson. The kid from Stanford did pick up a lot of mo- uh, uh, momentum the last couple of weeks, um, but I don't know. It's it's it just it, it. I think you have an inherent advantage on the East Coast when it comes to Heisman voting, whether you want to call it a bias or whatever you want to call it. I think there's an inherent advantage in playing in the central or eastern time zone as opposed to playing in the western time zone. I, I mean, I, I for one can tell you I might have saw a total of two or three quarters of a Stanford game all year. And I watch a lot of college football, but a lot of times those Pac-12 games are just on so late at night you don't get a chance to see them. But I think it'll be either Henry or um, Watson. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I'll say... Deshaun Watson wins it. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Uh, and then, uh, yep. Good morning. Uh, somebody asked me too about Christmas shopping, which is random. But um, I'm I've done most of my Christmas shopping already. I'm just about done. Uh, I think they asked about you Georgia gifts, I guess, or something. I don't know. Uh, of course, if you don't live in Georgia, you got to buy that kind of stuff online. It's, you know, if you, unless you live in Georgia, it's not like you can go to every store and buy you something Georgia. Down here, it's everywhere. Um, you know, you can't throw a rock without hitting a store that sells Georgia stuff down here. But um, the probably the coolest thing I got this year, Georgia related for Christmas, I got Lou Jr. Um, his own recliner. To put out here in the man cave uh, where I filmed these Uncle Lou videos out here. Uh, one day I'll show you guys around in here what it looks like. But this is my garage. But uh, we're out here where I film the Uncle Lou videos. Because uh, Mrs. Lou doesn't like me yelling in the house. Uh, so I have to come out here to yell at you guys. Uh, but anyway, th- I'll put a picture right here if I can remember. Uh, you'll see it. You see it right there. Hopefully you do. If I can find the picture, it'll be right here, right now. If I can't find the picture, then it won't be there. Oh, the recliner I got for Lou Jr. to put out here. But uh, Anyway, uh, there was a few other questions, but this video is already way too long. I've wasted more than enough of your time. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great morning. And go dog.